Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a free Azure student account without a credit card. You will need to use your educational institution's email address to open that account. I am at azure.microsoft.com homepage. If I use the free account link or try Azure for free link to create an account, I will need a credit card. This is not the one I'm going to create. Opening a free account with a credit card gives you $200 credit and the account would be free for one year. After one year, you will have to pay for any resources that you use through the free account. At the end of this video, I will also show the status of a free account that I created more than a year ago with credit card. To create a free account without using a credit card, I will add forward slash free forward slash students at the end of the URL. Here on this page, it's showing that the account will get 100 US dollar credit and no credit card required. Also, it would get some free services. Azure will still measure the resources that you will use and generate bills for you. You will have to pay the bill with the free credit that you get when you open the account. Also, if you are out of credit because of overuse, then you will not be able to use the service for free anymore. But you will not be charged as you are not providing any credit card information. To start, I will click on Start Free on this page. Then I need to type in my educational institution's email address and go next. I will be forwarded to my educational institution's login page. Alternately, I can go to sign in options and then select sign into an organization and type in the organization's domain name. And go next. It will take me to my organization's login page and I need to use my educational institution's account credential to log in. Then it takes you to identity verification by phone where you have to type in your phone number to get a one-time verification code. I will use text me and the system will send a text with a code to my phone number. I will put the verification code back on this page. And then click on verify code. After form verification, it will take you to the profile form and you have to fill out the form. When done, check on I agree checkbox and click on sign up. It might also show a brief customer satisfaction survey page. After a few seconds, it will load Azure for Education page. The URL of this page is portal.azure.com Next, you will have to check your email and you should see a welcome to your Azure for a student account email. When you open that email, you will see the get started button. I will click on it and it takes me to the login page.
Based on the organization's authentication policy, you may or may not be asked to sign into Microsoft Authenticator when you log in. If you do see Microsoft Authenticator, then you will need to download this app in your phone and go to the authentication process with your phone. However, if your organization doesn't require Microsoft Authenticator, you will not see Microsoft Authenticator message. I am going to show Microsoft Authenticator steps anyway. After downloading and installing the app on my phone, I need to connect my phone to my Azure account. To do that, when I go through the wizard, I see a QR code. I need to scan the QR code with the Authenticator app on my phone and finish the Authenticator wizard at Azure site with my computer. When you try to use Azure services, you might be prompted for any other incomplete steps for setting up the account. For example, at this screen, I can see a prompt saying we could not confirm you have accepted Azure DevTools for teaching terms and conditions. Please accept the terms here. So I click on the line and then I agree to the terms and conditions and click on accept and continue. Also, I can see a message saying, click here to complete your student profile. So I open it. It's showing 128 Canadian dollar credit, which is equivalent to 100 US dollar. I edit my info section and save when I'm done. Then I go to home page and attempt to create a virtual machine. Now I can use Azure resources. As you can see, I can create a virtual machine. That completes the steps for creating a free student account. In the last part of the video, I'm going to show you what happened to my one year free account that I opened as a regular free account using my credit card. Also note that when I opened that account, I used my educational institution's email address. After logging in, when I try to create a virtual machine, it is not letting me to do so. So I will fix this issue to get the $100 credit for a free student account with my email address. I will go to subscriptions, then I add a new subscription. As you can see, the free trial period is not available as I already have used it. Now I can either choose pay as you go or I can choose Azure for the students. If I choose pay as you go, in that case I will be charged on my credit card for any resource that I use at Azure. Since I qualify for free credit, I will choose this option. So my educational institution's email address will be linked to this Azure for the student account. Now I will go through the process of completing the profile. Azure will send me a welcome email. So I go to that email and click on get started button. After I complete the rest of the free Azure student account creation process, I get the 100 US dollar credit.
Now I can use Azure resources using the free student account. For example, I can create a virtual machine. And that is the end of the video. I hope you found this video was helpful. If you would like to receive notifications on future videos, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and set up notifications by tapping on the bell. Thank you for watching.